Good morning. It's Friday, November 2nd, 2018. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, I Think I'm Having Stress, and our scripture is Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Let all that I am praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God with my dying breath. Don't put your confidence in powerful people. There's no help for you there. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth, and all their plans die with them. But joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He made heaven and earth, the sea, and everything in them. He keeps every promise forever. He gives justice to the oppressed and food to the hungry. The Lord frees the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are weighed down. The Lord loves the godly. The Lord protects the foreigners among us. He cares for the orphans and widows, but he frustrates the plans of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. He will be your God, O Jerusalem, throughout the generations. Praise the Lord. A lady called a mother friend of hers to ask how she was getting along. Said the voice on the other end of the phone, I'm sick, the house is a mess, and the kids are making me crazy. Said the friend, don't move a muscle. I'll be right over, I'll cook and clean for you and keep your kids out of your hair until your husband Sam gets home. Said the harried mother, Sam? My husband's name isn't Sam. And said the other, oh, I'm sorry, I must have dialed the wrong number. After a brief pause, the tired mom said, That's okay, but you're still coming over, aren't you? People find themselves under the effects of a load of stress these days. Of course, it's no new thing. Adam and Eve had a pile of it to deal with, and then their younger son was murdered by his older brother. Most stress is produced by breakdowns in relationship. Many disagreements, or maxi, as in the case of Cain and Abel. But all conflict between humans produces tension and a threat of being overwhelmed. We look in all sorts of directions for help, personal coping mechanisms, friends, neighbors, programs that promise help or resources. There are self-help books, retreats, gurus, and the prize winner in all the competition to ease your troubled mind dropping out. The opting out of tension dimension is filled with more choices. TV, adulterous affairs, drugs that numb your ability to feel, and too many more to list. I've heard the concept that tension can be good or bad. You stress is the good kind, like the tension on the strings of a violin. If it's tightened just enough to be in perfect tune, it's wonderful. And this is like the push and pull of a healthy relationship between co-workers who respect each other's contribution to a project. But if the roles, if the established authority patterns or lines of communication get confused or just plain shattered, just like a violin string pulled too tightly, snap. Our psalmist was no stranger to stress. He knew the effects of being weighed down like an overburdened pack animal. He knew the prison of empty promises and false friendships. He understood the loneliness of being a powerless outsider without hope. And so this man said goodbye to counting on the powerful of this earth to bring him any relief. He turned his heart heavenward. And there he found hope, joy, and the lift of a friend. Now, I'm not dissing the whole human race here. We need to learn and practice knowing and understanding and helping each other. That's a godly thing. But my whole point is to give trust slowly and carefully. If we entrust ourselves to anyone else's leading, just because they sound good when they talk, we will soon find that trust violated and maybe our pocket picked. Rather, trust freely and quickly in the Lord, never a promise broken there. For you today, how's it going in that stress department? Are your stripes unraveling? Here's a gentle reminder where to turn. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.